allowed us to assemble one more time. He has blessed us to rise this morning and enter his gates one more time. Therefore, we are to come forth rejoicing. I know that some of us have been through some trials or some tribulation, perhaps. We've experienced some difficulties even this past week. But we thank God and we lift him up that he has allowed us one more time to come together one more time. We give him praise and we give him glory. We challenge you on this day to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, to make his praise glorious, and to lift him up, for he is worthy of all of our praise.
the scripture prayer and the song of the Bible of the Lord. Thank you all. We certainly thank him for his oh, yeah. goodness and his mercy toward yeah. us. Yeah, Lord. I want to solicit your prayers for sister. Some of you know her, the younger ones you may know her. Uh, Annette Bullock McCall. Bullets. Uh, thought of her husband died yesterday. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, she just buried a mother. You know, about a month ago. I can only imagine the pain that she's in, having buried two of the closest ones. Well, she had buried him there, but losing two of the closest people, too. I can imagine as what I see with my children, they never made a bond, and mom and daughter in most cases. My girls call their mama every day or one that's away. Every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, y'all, did you ever say it? Yes, sir. Every day. Plus, yeah. the other day that don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. On the eighth day also, and y'all made the seventh. Yeah. Yeah. But, but please, please, please keep her and her family, the core of the family, core of the family in prayer. I don't know the details around it. Uh, I just got a message from the second part of my husband. And, uh, and so I'll, I'll hopefully talk to her today. Uh, she's a good friend of mine. And so let's keep them in prayer. Yeah, right. uh, for Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church, uh, I also uh, keep Sister Lena Brown in prayer. She was doing well. So you know she went to the hospital for a procedure. And she mm -hmm. was doing well. She's back home. Recovering well yeah, in, Lord. in prayer. Mm -hmm. And others that are in rest home and rehab and yeah, Lord. all that I don't forget, call the name because I'm missing. Right? So yeah. I said, You didn't call my loved one. Man. Uh -huh. So all of them that, that yeah, are Lord. in, in various places, mm -hmm. uh, let us keep them lifted up in prayer. Uh, upcoming, you, upcoming uh, of course, Wednesday night Bible study throughout the time. And then uh, next Sunday is the third Sunday. We will have Sunday school at 8.30. What is, what is the next week? Sunday. What is the day?
I still want y'all to come and support the preacher. Timothy Lance will not be present. He'll be hiding somewhere. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yeah. And uh, Reverend Phillips, Reverend Phillips, the, the grandson, I think, yeah. of one of your former pastors, yeah. will preach that night. Amen? He, he will preach that night, and so we want you to come and support that choir. Be ready to sing it. Just as we normally do, everything is the same way, except Pastor Tim Gomez won't be here. But we want you to carry it out just like we normally do and come and have a, a worshiping, praising yeah. time uh, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, ladies, I know y'all kind of y'all kind of uh, stop dancing now, but if y'all want to dance, if the Lord just kind of touch you and you want to do a spiritual dance that night, you know, it's just something just kind of happens to y'all. Y'all feel the kind to do your thing. You're welcome to do so. I'm, I'm just putting out there that you're welcome to do so. Amen. And so let's come together on that day that the Lord has allowed us. Uh, and let me remind you what, because some people have forgotten what that day is all about. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the reason why we do watch night service, those who may not know, way back on the old fellow named Abe Lincoln, signed something called the Emancipation Proclamation. Right. Yeah. And it went into effect mm -hmm. the 1st of January mm -hmm. of that year, uh, 1861, I believe it was. Michael, you had his story, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And, and so so the slaves, they all gathered in worship houses across the land, mm -hmm. waiting for the first of the year that they would be free. Yeah. Amen. And, and we've gotten so we've gotten so up and so free. I literally heard a black preacher put down uh, uh, watch night service. Say, I don't know why they do that. We don't do that. Yeah, yeah. We still remember that we were slaves in this land. Yeah, Lord. And there's some folk reminding us of that now. Amen. 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 Now, we were one slave in this land, but God set us free. And that's what they did that night. They got together and they worshiped and praised God going into the year so that when that clock hit, amen, they were, they were, they were free. Amen. Kind of so. <laughs> amen. Amen. And we know for, for those who, for those who do, do Junity, amen, that was just a segment of people, all right, that didn't get the word until June 19th, some two or three years later. They were still incarcerated. I often joke with people and say, you know, there's some places down in South Carolina, they still got some back in the woods in slavery and they don't know it. They don't know they're free. No, I'm just joking. They ain't free. I'm just yeah. <laughs> down there my wife, Eric, in Plantersville. Down back in the woods, they still got slave back there. They ain't even told they're free yet. <laughs> they can move on, y'all. <laughs> But, but that's the rundown for the uh, for the rest of the year. Please go to your service call. That's why we do watch my service. I want you to understand that. And it should be a significant part of all of us. Uh, not only are we remembrance, it's a, it's a remembrance of our freedom, but it's a remembrance of our true freedom of our relationship with Christ. Yeah. And that God has allowed us. Amen. If we should be there on the 31st, he has allowed us to make a key at another. But we know not what tomorrow holds. Amen? Amen. I, I, I say to you that I am negotiation, I'm in negotiation with God for 120 years. Right. Yes, right. But I also have enough sense to know that he can call me tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. That's right. Amen. We know not the day nor the hour. That's right. In fact, while we're in here right now today, now y'all better take note of this. I'm moving on because I didn't talk too much right. But, but take note of this. And while we're in here right now, now the sky can crack. That's right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. And the archangel can shout. Yeah. And they will blow the trumpet. Yeah. And the dead in Christ rise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Yeah, Lord. We don't have the day nor the hour. Yeah. Could be our time, could be another time. Amen. So I'm going to let you stay excited about the God. Yes, Lord. Try not to let things get me down. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. 
Every day that he let me, I'm going to just live and be as crazy as I can be. Ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, praise <laughs> God. Uh, did I miss any announcements? What I missed?
district attorney of our district, of our district has called the overall pattern of Green's activities as violating North Carolina statutes that include willfully misconduct of maladministration in office. And holding office contrary to the Constitution, we have learned well the lesson of stand silence until they come for me. That is why we stand. We stand to say Columbus County belongs to us all. We stand against the historical and present day forces of injustice designed to separate, control, and divide us. We stand inviting all people of good conscience and goodwill in Columbus County to also stand. Join us as Columbus County United. If you're reading this letter and would like to stand with us and declare a state in our community, we extend an open invitation to you. Join us by supporting this letter or by writing your personal letter to, uh, to the editor of our attending a regular community meeting or by calling the Attorney General's office or by simply finding a way to speak your truth that represents your interest in the board of a better Columbus County. Together, we will accept the challenge and task of securing this county for the good of the whole. Through, through us, together, justice will prevail. Amen. So keep that in mind. If you have not signed, uh, she please sign. Yes. Our former president informed me yesterday that she was informed that swear in would take place at that courthouse. They had moved it to the commission's office, but she said she back home when we be at the courthouse to direct it. Okay. I, I was surprised when I saw courthouse. I was thinking it was going to be at the commissioner's office, which had no space that I could tell. Uh, so commissioner's office is more than that. Uh, praise God. Praise God. Blessings. Uh, let us continue to worship God with the holiness as we worship God in our giving. Let us give a call how we try to be blessed. Give a call how God has already blessed. Give it to show you, give me a press down, show you never want to hold for many more into your blessing. Try God and see if you will hold the one that has a poor out of the blessing.
before thank you for our musician, Emmanuel, we worship you. That remind you as you are turning to Proverbs 4, 10 through 13, that we remind you that worship is a verb. Yeah, Lord. Amen. Worship is what we do to God. Yeah. Or what he's already done for us. Yes, sir. Amen, so it's what we do unto God for what He's already done for us. Yeah, Lord. Has He been good to anybody in the house? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 10, 11, 12, and 13. New King James read like this Hear my son, uh -huh. receive my sayings, yeah. and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. Yeah. I have led you in the right path. Yeah. When you walk, mm -hmm. your steps will not be hindered. Uh -huh. When you run, mm -hmm. you will not stumble. Uh -huh. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Uh -huh. Keep her, for she is your life. Yeah. The focus verse is verse number 11. I have taught you the way of wisdom. Uh -huh. I've led you in right path. Yeah. The subject is from the last half of verse 11. I have led you yeah. in the right path. Right path. I want to speak to you this morning from the subject, let God lead you. Yeah. Yeah. Let God Hallelujah. lead you. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, we magnify you. We give you praise. We give you thanks for yet another day's journey. We thank you for this moment, this time. We pray that your word will go forth, and as you declare my return to you, Lord, to accomplish what you sent to accomplish. Your so your own converters will be there, that the person will be set free from captivity. We thank you now, God, for those who will come to you as a result of this word. May the words of my heart and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O God, my strength and my redeemer. In your most holy name we pray. Amen. Let God lead you. Yeah. Let, let me say that again. Let God lead you. Yeah. The most difficult element of effective leadership is effective followership. Yeah. The most difficult element of effective leadership is effective followership. That analogy is true in every aspect of our society. Even the most excellent leader will struggle to lead when people refuse to follow. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. It is interesting to note that it is almost instinctive for the average human being to think and believe that they can do a better job than the person in charge. Even in sport, that course we know what he's doing. We all think we know. Better. Amen. And this is not a new problem. Come on, somebody. Amen. We find this happening throughout the Word of God. Yeah. In Exodus chapter 32, they began to declare in Exodus 32, began that verse number one. Now, when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, mm -hmm. the people gathered together and they called Aaron and said, Aaron, come and make us God. Come and make us gods that we should go before that they should go before us. For as for as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And Aaron said to them, Bring off the golden arrow rings which are on your heads of your wives, your sons, your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people broke off the golden arrow rings which were on their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold from their hand, and he fashioned it with an engraving tool and made it molded a calf. Then they said, this is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Now I always think that's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Yeah. Now, you were enslaved, and you were brought out of Egypt, but you didn't see a God, per se, and you just made a God, and the God that you just made brought you out of Egypt. Of how we think sometimes and, 
and, and so 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 then the Lord saw what had happened, and, and you know Moses was up here the the, the commandments at the time, and and so they got weary because Moses was gone too long. Amen. That's what people do when the leader goes too long. Amen. Yeah. Folks start doing their own thing, and so God said, Moses, you better get down from here real quick because they're people are going crazy. Yeah. Amen. Somebody. They're doing all kinds of stuff in Exodus 32, 7 through 10. And the Lord said to Moses, go get down for the people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded calf and worship it and sacrifice it and said, this is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people and indeed it is a stiff-necked people. Uh -huh. Now therefore let me alone, God said to Moses, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and I will make of you a great nation. Yeah. God said, Moses, let me kill them. That, that, that's what he said. Yeah. Let me kill them because they're crazy and they stiff necked. Yeah. You know what stiff neck is? Yeah. Stiff neck is what some of us are. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Stiff neck means unruly. Gonna do whatever you want to do. Don't care who say what. Amen. I'm my own person, and you can't tell me what to do. That's what stiff that person is. Amen. Somebody. And I didn't say that. And then that not only did it happen there, but a little while later, here comes Miriam and Aaron. Now, 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 Aaron, you you think he had some sense by now? Because because he saw what happened at the Golden Calf situation. Yeah. And so now a little bit further in Numbers chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Then Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses. Watch this. Because he married a black woman. Daniel the Bible said, Bible said Ethiopian woman. Yeah. But now she came to Ethiopia what she thinks she is. Thoughts of peace and not with you to give you a future and a hope. Why not let him leave? 
the song of the day, the Psalm 37, 23 and 24. The steps, yeah, I'm a good man.
God leads you, you can triumph over anything that comes your way. When you let God lead you, you may cry sometimes, but it's going to be all right. He's going to see it through. And so there's one thing, in order to be led by God, the first thing is you got to trust Him. If you want to let God lead, you got to trust Him and believe that God is able. The psalmist said in our text in Proverbs 4.10, he said, Hear my son, receive my say, and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in the right path. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. When you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of the structure. Do not let her go. Keep her for she is your life. That's meaning trust God. Yeah. In the midst of it, trust God and your steps will not be hindered. Trust God that when you run, you will not stumble. Trust God that he's going to lead you in the right path. The psalm is declared in Psalm 31, verses 1 through 5. You in you, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge. Yeah. Fortress and man of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Yeah. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Yeah. Hold me out of the neck that have secret and lay for me. For you are my strength. Yeah. Look at how many times yeah. you talk about God me a strength. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I 
we teach yeah. you. Hallelujah. Every time I enter the word of God, I enter with a thought. I don't know God. Teach me. God. Amen. I don't know God. Teach me. As I prepare for a sermon, I say, Lord, teach me. As I prepare for a Bible study, Lord, teach me. I don't know. I, I, I don't know God. I come to you as an empty vessel. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up, Lord. Stand with me. Stand with me. Somebody say with me.
precious here, Father. We just thank you. We praise you. And we give your name the glory and the honor. Amen.
of all that's singing in you. As we depart of his house, God bless you and keep you. And let us sing and rejoice and praise him. And we transition out of God's house.